whatever turns you on, do it. Hey everybody, Lux into Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. This is one of those things that might upset some people. There are folks in the sublimation Tumblr world who just really can't understand why you would use a sublimation Tumblr for anything but sublimation. And to that I say, A, use what you have for whatever you need, and B, it can save a couple steps. Right here I have a sublimation tumbler. It's a 20 ounce skinny straight from Makerflow. Bought it when it was on sale. So the cup isn't any more expensive than a regular naked stainless steel 20 ounce skinny straight. But I have now saved myself the step of three layers of glossy white paint on this. So I have a beautiful glossy white tumbler ready to go. And I'm gonna do a water slag. This is the graphic I have. I printed it out on my Hippoo, H-I-I-P-O-O, -O, water slide decal paper. I'm gonna do this as a water slide graphic, not as a sublimation graphic. You can do it either way. Whatever turns you on, do it. Once I printed this graphic out on my Hippoo paper with my inkjet printer, I sealed it with two layers of Rust-Oleum 2x gloss clear spray followed by a third layer of Plasti Dip Glossifier. That is what I choose to do to seal my water slides. No hard and fast rule here. You do need some sort of sealer, so at least one layer of some sort of clear spray to seal the inkjet inks onto the water slide paper. Otherwise, when you do this part, putting it in water, the inks will run. So one layer of a clear sealant is necessary. Beyond that, use whatever you want. Have my silicone brush, which doubles as a squeegee tool for water slides. Get some paper towels. And let's see where we are here. Start by getting the cup wet so the water slide will move around on it so I can manipulate it for placement purposes. I do want it towards the bottom, but not necessarily at the very bottom rim, a little above the bottom. I do have some overlap. If you just want to trim yours down a little farther, that's fine. You can do that. Technically, I could even trim it now if I really wanted to drive myself nuts. Let's see if we can do that just to show you, just a little bit. There we go. When you have it pretty much where you want it, then you grab your silicone brush and you start squeegeeing out the water that's underneath and the wrinkles and the bubbles and everything else. You wanna get your squeegee wet so it doesn't drag on the graphic and possibly stretch or tear it. And then just start doing this. I am quite happy with this. I think this looks beautiful. Are we done with it yet? No, we're not. This is the first step, getting the wrap on. We'll come back when it's thoroughly dry and it's time to go on to the next step. And we're back. Okay, I don't know if I've said this already. This is a very simple, easy cup to make. I took a white tumbler. I put a water slide on it. I put some resin over that to protect the water slide. I'm gonna put some vinyl on it now. I'm gonna put a final layer of resin over the whole thing at least one, but for the purposes of this video, a final layer of resin over the whole thing. Boom. Done, got a cup. Cups don't have to be complicated to be very pretty or to be very well themed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the hearts around the top and I'm gonna put the, just one pinstripe around the bottom. It's a very rainbow oriented tumbler. And I wanna start back here at the seam because I have a feeling I won't space these out perfectly, in which case I want the, the the start and the finish, if they're not spaced out really well, to be back here on the same place as the seam. Hopefully I'll get this right. I think I'm gonna end up using about eight of these little hearts. These are the centers. You can see some of these are still here with their uh, offset. So this, this bit here, the outline became the offset for these. So I have all the insides left and I'm gonna use them here. Pick these up and put them on. All right, 
Not perfect, but it will do. And then we'll do our pinstripe down here, also starting at the seam. I have cut two different widths. Uh, the larger is a quarter an inch, and the smaller is 0 0.15 inches wide. And I think for this one, I might as well go with the bigger. If I don't like it, I can take it off. There we go. All right. As usual, this cup will not be to everybody's taste. That's fine. It's just an example. Pick your own water slide that you want to wrap on a cup. Pick your own vinyl that you want to put on the cup. Make it your own cup. I just wanted to throw this out there. We are all different. We all have our own taste in things, and I get that. I get this vinyl from a shop on Etsy. I will link to that below, and I will link to where I got the, the Rainbow Flames artwork as well. Okay, so I'm going to put a final for the video anyway. Layer of resin over the whole thing. I am absolutely put some 504 from Mr. Dolo's Glitter, which is a gorgeous, ultra-fine rainbow iridescent. So the next time you see this, we should be outside in the sunshine. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>